Hi there, I'm Black and Bright, and I was asked to find out whether or not somebody who has um, been re refused indefinite leave to remain because they overstayed, whether or not, if they reapplied, if they'd be successful. Um, the thing is, with indefinite leave to remind, remain, there is a lot of um, stumbling blocks if you've overstayed, a lot. Um, if you, on a up note, if you think about that gentleman from Mali who was an immigrant, he was an illegal immigrant in France, and he saved that young baby from falling, and as a result, he got his British, British, he got his French citizenship. Now, on the upside, if you maybe saved the Queen, or you saved the Prime Minister, or you did something, you know, they saved the country from espionage, or you did something really, really phenomenal you might be awarded, they might overlook the fact that you're an illegal immigrant and they might give you um, an extension. They might award you extension. I mean, in America, I don't know if they're still doing it, but I do believe that they have a good citizen award. That if you do something really brave or help the police or help the government, they give you an, they give an extension of four years to illegal immigrants. That's what I understand. That'd have to be researched and followed up and stuff. So don't take my word for it. Um, but I can't see in any other way how it'd be possible. But, you know, when you have a, a good attorney, immigration attorney who understands the loopholes and who can help you, um, you know, go through your case because every case is individual. You never know. So don't take my word for it. Speak to an attorney. I am not a legal attorney. I don't have that experience. But let me um, let you know the stumbling blocks at least. Oh, and also you have to bear in mind that that person who, who was refused, it could be something as minor. Well, I shouldn't say minor, but it could have something like... Um, a traffic offence, you know, if it goes to court, if you haven't paid or if you haven't paid a fine, not so much the um, the activity itself, like a parking ticket or whatever you get a fine for, but the fact that you haven't paid it or you've paid it late, that could propel you into that part where on the indefinite leave to remain, it becomes a problem. So it might not be something major. It could be something like that, that has um, rejected your application. Anyway, having said that, let me just um, read out the criteria as I know it. Um, anyone who's overstayed over 14 days, it used to be 28, is barred from the UK for 10 years, unless of course exceptional circumstances. Um, they will not be readmitted unless they have obtained a new non-immigrant visa from their country of nationality. Uh, you can't get it from the local embassy, I'm afraid. Um, they will be restricted from further extensions. They'll be unable to change their status. Existing visa of foreign nationals who have overstayed is automatically voided, even if it's just a day. I mean, like I said, if there's exceptional circumstances, it could be reinstated. Um, unable to obtain a new visa except in country of origin, home country. Um, in, in exceptional circumstances also, they may allow you to um, do that in a third country, but that's with the approval of the third country and the home office. Overstayers cannot adjust their status, can extend or change to another non-immigrant status above from changing their status. So that is the issue now and what makes it worse what compounds it is that you know the police have an operation nexus and with operation nexus that it's been under a lot of criticism because what they're doing is when they stop someone they are actually checking their um that they're, they're checking with the home office to make sure that an individual is legally in the country now that part is fine because they have every right to root out illegal immigrants. But what is not good is the fact that they are deporting overstayers when they should be removing them. And we all know deportations has a stigma. It gives you, you go into your country as a criminal, you go into your country as disgraced. And I don't understand why they deport as opposed to remove. I'll never quite understand that. 
um, it's like they're criminalizing unnecessarily. So, or they're making that person feel like a criminal unnecessarily. So you've overstayed, I know you've done something wrong. And I know it's illegal for people to overstay, but just remember this is a new phenomenon. They never made a big deal out of it a few years ago. Now all of a sudden it's a big deal. Okay, it's a big deal. So you're gonna do something about it, but don't make people feel like bloody criminals. And don't deport people when you know that you could remove them. So now what's happening now is that if you get stopped by a police officer, he has every right to liaise with the home office. If the home office finds out that you're an overstay, if the home office reports back that you're an overstayer, they can take you in. They can have immigration officers on standby if they want. And next thing you know, you're not going home to your family. So it's not good for overstayers. And um, yeah, like I said, you know, been lulled into a false sense of security and now the rug has been taken from under your feet and everything is supposed to I'm sure there has to be something to do with human rights in all of this but you know I have no idea so that is why it's very important to make sure you get proper legal advice and I don't know and beforehand rather than after so that's all I can say really oh and um for those of you who are coming into the country um, some tips, um, check the dates and, diarise the, and diarise, diarise the date you are meant to leave the country. Put, a, um, put an alarm in your phone or something, because you do get some people, they come over here, whether it's for weddings or whatever, they get so absorbed and they bloody forget. I don't see how you can forget, but whatever. Just make sure you don't forget. Um, save all boarding passes and airline tickets. I have a habit when I come back from a trip, I know I'm born here, but when I come back from a trip, I throw away my boarding passes and my airline tickets. I mean, unless it's a romantic trip with my husband and then I'll say, okay, I'm gonna keep it, you know, as a memoir. But other than that, I don't. So for you, keep it, especially if you are going through the transitional stage of you know, regularizing yourself. Keep every possible documentation. Even if you're visiting, make sure you keep stuff. Um, ensure all your travel documents are stamped and keep your travel itinerary. I think that's all I can do for you now. For those of you who are in that unenviable position of being an overstayer and having your in indefinite leave to remain refused, I'm not quite sure what you can do apart from see a Citizens Advice Bureau or see a good immigration lawyer and not one that's going to rip you off. One that's from the uh, from the IOCS. OK, if any, you know, if you want a good immigration lawyer who's who's registered, the Home Office can give you the name Citizen Advice Bureau can and the www.gov.uk. OK, and that's all for now. Bye bye.